Hello everyone, this is Tyler Childs and this is the third video or episode of my TTM returns. Uh, sorry for the mess, uh, I don't I don't care. <laughs> you know, still no epic intro, but you know, let's keep it simple and let's get right into it. I got some things planned for after Christmas, so it's going to be awesome. Hopefully I'll have a new setup and everything, but... Who knows what's going to happen. Just stay tuned. I, I promise y'all won't let you down. Now, let's go ahead and get into these returns. So our first return comes from Birmingham, Alabama. And we have Chris Hammond. He signed this 1990 Fleer in 14 days. And not only that... He also included four more. Now, what makes me admire Chris Hammond so much is he was actually the first autograph I've ever gotten. I have him on a uh, baseball with Javi Lopez at the uh, very first uh, Braves game that I went to as a kid. And on top of that, he also gave me his number, and I've been in contact with him, and boy, he is, he's an awesome guy, and I, I can't spoil anything, but, you know, I got something common. So, Mr. Chris Hammond, he pitched for 14 years with the Marlins, Reds, and Braves. His best year was in 2002 with my Braves, when he went 7-2 and two with a 0 0.95 ERA, and he is known for having one of the best change-ups in Major League history. He actually threw his change-up as low as 58 miles an hour. It's insane. Um, but that he's a great guy, you know. He gave me his number, I called, didn't expect him to return my phone call, but he did, and Thank God that he did, because that guy is awesome. Now, our second return comes from Las Vegas, Nevada. And we have Mike the Hitman Easler. He signed 2-2 two two in 28 days. He also inscribed the 1981 All-Star and also included the 79 World Series champ. On there, I only requested the All Star inscription, but he also signed this 1987 tops and included the Hitman on it. So he, so Mike Giesler, he played 14 years with the Pirates, Astros, Yankees, Red Sox, Angels, and Philly. Uh, his best year was in 1980 when he hit 338 in 132 games with 21 home runs and 74 RBIs. And he also hit for the cycle that year. So that is Mr. Mike Easler. Now, third return, and we're getting into my Braves. And the first one comes from Atlanta Metro, and we have Mr. Ron Gant. One of my favorite TTMers. And this is for the set. He uh, inscribed 1991 Silver Slugger, as I requested. Now, I have a ton of Ron Gant autographs with two-time All-Star inscribed on them. Uh, I, believe I'm at, I believe I'm at 15 or over 15 Ron Gant autographs. Excellent signer. Now, Mr. Ron Gant... Played 16 years with the Braves, Cardinals, Phillies, A's, Rockies, Padres, Reds, and Angels. And as I mentioned before, he is a two-time All-Star and a Silver Slugger in 1991. And that is Ron Gant. Now, our final return, and I can't believe that he actually signed this for free. We have... Mr. Ralph Gar, the roadrunner himself. 
I love this guy. I love watching old footage of this guy, and uh, he 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 tricked me. He sent this card back, um, and the letter that I sent, um, you know, basically saying, well, not saying, but trying to, you know, I'll tell you how he tricked me, okay? Because now Ralph Gar is five dollars per. And I thought, oh, since I didn't send the five dollars, he didn't sign it. Well, <laughs> upon further opening of the envelope, if, I mean, I guess you want to put it like that, I uh, opened it and the card was in the same exact place where I had it. And the only thing new was that signature right there. Now, Mr. Ralph Gar, as I previously stated, or haven't stated already, my short-term memory is horrible. He is known as the Road Runner. Road Runner, no, God, I can't even talk. And yeah, I'm not even gonna edit that out. We're keeping that in. We're doing this unedited. Uh, we ain't edit, editing anything. I'm six minutes in. You think I'm going to redo this whole video? You are out your damn mind. <laughs> anyway, let me start this over. So, Mr. Ralph Gar signed this. I believe it's a 72-73 Tops in 16 days. Uh, like I said, I took a chance for free, and I got it for free. But he is $5 per. Uh, he played 13 years with the Braves, White Sox, and California Angels. His best year was in 1974 when he hit 353 with 214 hits, 11 home runs, and get this, 17 triples. 17 triples. Are you going to see that in today's game? Possibly, maybe. But 17 triples back then? Hmm... Now you see why they call him the Road Runner. And also, Miss Cigar is a member of the Braves Hall of Fame. And, uh, well, folks, that's going to do it. And the next time, hopefully, I'll have a better setup. And as always, thank you to the new subscribers. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Autographs2000. The Brandon Stebbins for sending more subscribers that way. As you can see, if you've been watching Brandon Stevens and Autographs 2000, I blessed them with a little Christmas gift. That's just what I do. That's just what I do, folks. I love giving back. You know, I've been supporting my whole life. I think it's time I get in the business of lending my support rather than receiving it. You know, I'll do that for anyone. I want to try to start doing live streams. And, hey, if you're the first person to pop up in one of my live streams, Shoot me an email. I'll give you a free autograph. And trust me, I got them. I, I probably got your favorite player's autograph. All right, that's probably a little bit of hyperbole, but I got, I got tons of autographs that I am willing to just give away for free. You know, unless you're like a registered sex offender or something like that. Uh, in that case, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just going to autograph your face with a meat cleaver. I'm going to go full Bill the Butcher, you know. May the Christian Lord guide these double XL hands against all your societal degeneracy and blasphemy. How's that for an epic ending? Might not have an epic intro, but... Folks, you're not going to hear another another outro like that anywhere else. And Lord knows I need to wash my hands. Look at that. I'm going to keep that in there just to let y'all see that. So if this is going to be a lesson, I'm keeping it in there because this is, going, this is a hard lesson learned to always wash your hands, folks. I think it's some dirt that I got from cleaning up the desk. But hey, I'm rambling. But I want to let you know, I appreciate all of you, and God bless. God bless. Woo!